I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is an answer to the question of what battery life is like on the new Fitbit Sense smartwatch. So this is the Fitbit Sense. Um, I just got this um, pretty recently, about three days ago. It ships today, the 25th of September 2020. And um, I've been able to wear it for long enough to start to get a sense for what the longer term battery life on this is gonna be like. Um, now Fitbit says that this, uh, the Fitbit Sense will get um, six days of battery life. And that's, I think, true um, with the basic settings on the watch. Um, I think, you know, so far from what I've seen, you do seem to get pretty good battery life, and I would believe that six-day figure. But there's one caveat to that, and that's the fact that if you enable the always-on display on the watch, which means that there's always the time um, and some basic stats displayed, then that actually is gonna reduce the battery life significantly. So you can see right now, I don't have that turned on. Um, when I stop using the watch for more than a couple of seconds, the screen uh, switches back off again. If I do a, like a flip of my wrist, or if I press the button on the side, it wakes it up. But otherwise, if you let it time out for more than about maybe 15 seconds, then it goes to that black setting. Again, with that, I think you get um, this, the six, uh, six days of battery life that Fitbit advertises is accurate. But if you go in here and switch on the always on display, um, which I think a lot of people probably will do because it's nice to have a watch you can just glance at and see the time and uh, see notifications and things. Then again, so far reports have shown, and I think it's about right, that you only get about two to three days of battery life on this. Um, if you use GPS, if you use other functions that are gonna eat a lot of battery, then it's probably gonna reduce the life too. So six days, reasonable if you're just um, keeping the screen off and not using GPS or other power hungry functions. I think two to three days between charges is probably still uh, reasonable, probably a much more accurate uh, number overall for the Fitbit Sense. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel here. You can also read my full review of the Fitbit Sense at 10.medium.com.